the Mega Man timeline throughout a lot of different games could be a pretty convoluted or confusing for those that are new. To make it short and sweet for those that are new, there's been several different beings to take up the legacy of the actual name Mega Man. You got the first original Mega Man, Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero is the one I'm going over in this video. In the timeline, he was the original, then he eventually got replaced by this being that ended up taking up the mantle as Mega Man. He could do pretty much a lot of different things he can do, but a lot of different things are improved or better. This Mega Man fought alongside the Mega Man known as Mega Man Zero. One could just say Zero. Similar to this one, this Mega Man was placed in a pod of stasis for years, but he eventually ended up just helping Mega Man at the end of the day to help rise up in the human Reploid war. Androids that have free will and stuff, and that's what a Reploid is. I personally like the unique design of this Mega Man because it's a lot different than the average design. Mega Man specializes in blast power, so does Zero. He also carries around a laser sword, showing that he can slice you into pieces too if he so wishes. Well, don't forget strength-wise, he is strong enough to punch through a metal floor. Was literally in an energy cage, he just physically busts out. By the way, this is several feet deep, the floor he punched through. Smashes through a metal ceiling. Yeah, he can take on tons of different reploids, or one could say androids with his bare hands and a flashback. You can see the destruction he caused. Yeah, he just that power. Zero. Respect him. Strong enough to rip a metal handle. Like that. Can damage walls with his straight up kicks. Showing his kicking power. Literally tears off Sigma's arm. This is just physical strength stuff. And they usually specialize in blast power. This same being he's been abusing after tearing off his arm. Zero. Just starts beating the living snot out of him for the most part. I almost feel bad for him at this point. Yeah, it's looking terrible for him. Can punch the metal floor hard enough to crumble it. Throughout his adventures, he did get a new body, but the bodies were pretty much replicas of one another, so I'm not going to really distinguish between the two bodies when it comes to his power because it should be similar. Just to let you guys know ahead of time why I don't differentiate between the two bodies. Stated to be a copy of the original Zero's original body. When he does decide to use his Z-Saber, he can just slice you clean in half if he feels like it. Yeah. Like this super powerful being known as Lumen, he sliced off one of the tentacles. Like that. Sent him flying back. Get the heck out of my way with the Z-Saber. Even slicing the propeller off a flying enemy like this. Just like other Mega Man, he can use literally use blasters to save other Mega Man type characters. This big old giant spider robot, he can damage it with his blast power. Showing how much power he can produce. Like, no leg. The same robot that can take a blast from Mega Man X, so it's pretty durable. Showing his competence. Blocks of ice. Or cut them apart. Same with big doors. Cut them apart with the Z-Saber. Just in general. Don't want to go over too many of these. You guys get the point. Cubes of stone he can cut up. Even some stuff that's invulnerable to the blaster he has to cut it up slice big robots in hell he does have auto repair systems by the way if he takes too much damage he has to take some time to auto repair at this time he got hit with this self-destructing attack he had to repair from it like yeah he could be pretty damaged pretty bad but over the time gap he ended up repairing himself even state zero you're alive he's happy to see him make him an x of course them two be working working together and stuff when using his saber he can lock arcs of green energy like green slashes implied in this boss he can use like saber bullets he can use the saber to deflect enemy shots if he wishes like on some jedi stuff like deflecting back at you kind of showing off his speed in the process he can even equip the z saber to mess up sigma's virus form the blade can even grow massive depending on the situation power up like you see how big it get with the slashes you're probably wondering what about his blast power other than the z blade because after all aren't Mega Man's known for their blasters or cannons right i would agree that's what they're known for he can transform his hand into a buster or back and forth between the two when he wants to can transform either hand when he feels like it and just blast you on the spot he can decide to charge him if he wishes for more power like classic Mega Man stuff that i already said in the past he also has different weapons like a long like a long pole arm that he can use for melee too so yeah he's not just walking around with the Z blade all the time he can mix it up heck he even has twin energy daggers this is like the mega man melee mega man for, i would say he even has a powerful warhammer yeah pretty melee heavy and he even got twin war fans <laughs> literal brass knuckles you just stick you like box you up with and a giant blade wielded by sigma like this that he can use he's had different vehicles like hover bike can ride different armors throughout the games you can like use like mega man x is implied he can teleport he can operate just fine on Earth or on the moon or underwater on the moon here. Yeah, as you can see, they have like a little accuracy tester in Mega Man. 
Zero, for example. And they had training little thing, 95% accuracy, they say about him. Just like other Mega Man type characters, he gains the ability to gain the ability of the beings that he beats down or bosses they defeat. Gain information from their DNA data has become your standard Mega Man stuff like I showed in my Mega Man videos in the past. This is pretty much why Mega Man get their versatility because they face all different type of enemies that have all different type of elements. Which is basically the excuse for making it a way for Mega Man Zero to have a way to use pretty much every element. Like attack you with electricity. Hey, <laughs> you know, like how you can turn the Z-Saber into an icicle. Punching the ground, sending out bolts of energy. So wind damage elemental after image yeah he can do like on some shadow clone juice and stuff like create a twin of himself that's made of energy like other mega man abilities he can pause time briefly yeah literally stop in time completely everything's frozen give him technically infinite speed if we're being honest if you just freeze time completely and move while you're in frozen time he can summon a robot dragonflies to fight you or blast you he can use water elemental attack screen clearing laser beams for the most part not only can he use electricity, but he can also create an electric tornado, basically combining two elements that he already uses at once. And big old shockwave punches, he can do like that. He can summon a light element laser around himself. Of course, he has all different kind of type of cannons, like missiles, of course. Can fire flame blasts from the saber, whether it be blast power or just straight up cannon. On top of being able to use pretty much every element in every way, whether he wants to put ice on his saber, whether he wants to just shoot straight up icicles out of his blasters, or whether he just wants to make a tornado or a thunder put the together or whether if he just wants to make or tornado mixed with thunder at the same time he just has a lot of different elemental options along with the fact that he has a lightsaber or a z saber he's had his fair share of powers because he gets power more powerful as time goes by that's just technically a common mega man trope at this point you defeat a ball level is high you will learn how to use their ability that's just a common thing in turn that makes them stronger everything will increase if you defeat more mini enemies with shield defense power will increase the attributes of them will increase depending on the different foes he defeat since he's one of those characters that get strong as time goes by it makes sense for him to have all of these different modes right thanks to all the times of him defeating his foes and copying their dna and weapons equipment or defenses or power in general the best way to get an idea of how strong he is is based on the opponents they fight a good example of this opponent is his opponent named lumen but with the help of other mega man like mega man x they had to take it on this being lumen had the power to literally destroy an actual sun like with this much power you see how bright it is outside sun that was right here where where did it go like i see the sun right here when they was fighting it was bright but it is complete darkness technically without the sun the whole planet would collapse but yeah game physics <laughs> Yeah, sure, he had help doing this, but for them to even be able to fight something that can put out this much power and match his power working together, they gotta be somewhere in the ballpark. Two ants ain't gonna beat Goliath by themselves. Not to mention it's confirmed that these two are on par with each other when it comes to power in general, went on a lot of adventures together and working together in general. In this game's universe, they treat their melee combat with the same amount of respect as their busters, so one can argue his Z-Blade could cut with this level force too. Everybody remembers the classic feat of classic Mega Man holding up the entire rooftop of a building or fortress. Some some calcs out there say this is over billions of tons. I see no reason on why Mega Man Zero shouldn't be able to do this. Literally superior to the classic one in every way, just like Mega Man X, because they work together a lot. Not to mention producing billions of tons of force shouldn't seem like impossible, considering they can literally create black hole levels of force, move or strike at the speed of light, or dodge things coming at them at the speed of light. Zero being able to lift 60,000 tons or up to a billion tons seems reasonable, considering they can destroy planets and fight beings that can destroy stars and defeat them working together and stuff. So, I mean, what's billions of tons? tons versus the size of the earth compared to the sun i mean if they can fight beings that can destroy something this big lifting something like billions of tons which is less than the earth that shouldn't be that far-fetched i'd even wager they can lift even more than this but yeah bare minimum 60,000 tons to billions of tons zero should be able to lift no problem because he's just like mega man x who's superior to the classic mega man in pretty much every way you're probably thinking no way i can't see the z-blade being able to cut with the force to cut a big old giant sun in half no that is true i'm saying the power of it in general could probably cut something as dense as the sun even if it's not as big he can cut something with the density of a star or durability of a star think of it like black panther and wolverine for example these claws that they use they could cut beings that have the durability or density of an entire planet they can't necessarily wipe out a star because they, they don't have enough area of effect to do that of course obviously these little small things ain't going to blow up no star but these things could cut something with the density or mass or durability of a star all compacted into one that's what i'm saying zeros z blade could possibly do not to mention when it comes to speed he 
could technically technically have infinite speed via time stop for short periods of time because he can move around when time is completely stopped around him they can dodge light speed lasers that reflect off mirrors stated there light reflector stages literally called laser institute there are laser units i hate frame by frames but if you want to go by frame by frames you see it midair the laser ain't all the way down there and he's still able to move <laughs> you know that's just silly but yeah the best way to understand mega man's strength is to analyze the universe's power level in general other beings in the said universe he has to face it lets you paint the bigger picture or the whole picture of how strong these characters actually are in the narrative when you got this many characters in the same universe that can do similar things classic mega man can literally create a black hole bomb like an actual black hole he can generate from his buster aka classic mega man can literally just create a black hole these two beings creating a planet side shockwave basically making making the clouds of saturn part saturn's way bigger than earth for them to make clouds that can be seen from outer space part that much clouds it's got to produce planet shattering levels of force at the very least considering the size them two clashing saturn they affected that much of saturn like that's a yeah you got characters in the universe that can literally shake an entire star made like the wally star and that was just a classic series where you go to mega man zero era and stuff yet again about black hole stuff powerful attack which manipulate gravity rend dimensions and create black holes and white holes notice how they say the word rend dimensions rend means tear that's pretty much proven that the black holes actually act like black holes and this is how it looks in action yeah and everything that goes into it crushes it and then we have just full-blown dimensional cracking feet that literally can't be measured by the beings in this verse as you can see look at the background is literally cracking apart and it's crumbling you see it shattering apart like that like bruh are you kidding mega man type characters for you this being in particular's first form stated to rend dimensions still got your doubts about zero's power what about some other opponents he's fought beings that mega man zero fought in the process of them fusing together seeing they literally creating a black hole literally a black hole i shouldn't have to explain to you how deadly black holes are this kind of matches up with the star feet i already showed earlier black holes are ridiculously destructive typical black hole has a mass between three and ten solar masses obviously this black hole created in this game wasn't nowhere near as big as like a super massive or a typical size black hole and just straight due to mega man's history of having these type of feats this shouldn't be out of the ordinary really mention that zero has face beings like this that can literally wipe out stars so this feat added on top of them being able to create a black hole visually definitely is pretty consistent and you guessed it. zero took on two of these beings while they were fused together zero took on beings that can create black holes and raw power like that zero's gotten way more powerful over time if you're still not convinced just don't forget that zero and mega man x are literal companion type characters and i would say they're very similar in their power he can literally generate black holes with his cannons they also are an equal helpful asset to helping fighting people they can't take on by themselves showing their power it ain't far off not to mention literal translations like this translated they literally state black hole the reason why mega man x could even get this stuff is because the villains he defeated could actually do it this is how they actually look not to mention both the beings that he got these abilities from in the first place both have gravity type or magnetic type of abilities when it comes to their weapons not to mention this literally stated creates black hole gravity beetle magna centipede black hole they can either battlefield move you or just literally crush you and yet these two are comparable they both fought a being that can blow up a star casually all this stuff added together just concretes it shout out to death battle for some feats that i might have missed that they went over for me about mega man x which should relate to mega man zero the general once tanked a planet destroying laser he can move fast enough to dodge optic sunflowers light speed laser this proves that these beings like mega man x and mega man zero can dodge things moving at the speed of light but for the most part that's just about going to do it as you know mega man zero was this strong anything mega man x can do he should technically be able to do on top of him specializing with z saber combat and melee type combat a lot that's probably one of the main things that makes him unique to other mega men like he's not afraid to just go sword combat mode melee style cut you up but before before I get going, I would like to give a quick shout out to those that have donated to the channel. Helps out a lot, believe it or not. 